Hello, my name is Mary Thompson and I'm with the Today I'm going to demonstrate a commission calculator app that I built using Para App. Just kind of wanted to show how easy it was to be able to take uh, something out of Business Central or FinOps, use Power Apps, and then feed that data back through. Um, I'm really passionate about simplifying business processes, and I felt like calculating commissions is often a very tedious time painstaking task also because it takes so long a lot of times it creates a lot of tension between your salesmen or salespeople and your operations team at least in places i've been um there was usually some issues around that and i thought mm, if it was something that was so simple with just a few clicks then it would really take down the amount of time and effort that goes into it so with that being said this is the video that I'm going to demonstrate. We're going to go ahead and we'll start in Business Central. And I decided to point uh, my trigger at posted sales invoices. To me, this made the most sense because I've never worked anywhere where people started calculating commission before the customer was even invoiced, right? So to simplify it, I'm just going to hit go right to our sales invoices. You could run this from a sales order into an invoice and it would work the same, but we're just going to do this from here. And I've got some predetermined customers that I've been working with. So I'm going to go ahead and pick City Electric. We've got a salesperson in here. We've got a ship to address. And now we just need to add an item. I'm going to do two, but I'm going to make these big dollar amounts so that we get a nice, nice number, right? So we've got a total invoice amount of $1,500. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and post this invoice. And it's posting and it says, do you want to look at this invoice? We'll look at it for real quick. And we see that it's a posted invoice uh, ending in 3018, okay? So imagine that we've calculated a bunch and now it's time to, uh, for the maybe accounts person or the sales manager to calculate the commission, right? So we're gonna go over here to the app that we built inside of Dynamics. We see right here, we've got the commission calculator. We're ready to calculate some commissions. So I see this invoice here, so I'll pick that one. Looks like they have four dollars. I'm going to add this to my commission journal. Now I'm going to go back and let's add this one to the commission journal. Great. So now I'm ready to drop back into Business Central. Okay, so when we go into the general journal, We can see here that we just have these two lines, right? The accrued commission line that we just calculated hitting our accrued commission account. So, so we're good to go and I can post this. You want to post it journal lines? Post it. Great. So now all I did is I hit two clicks. On my calculator app over here, went right into Business Central, had my general journals waiting, and, you know, I can even, if I was ready to pay them, I can go into my payment journal. Bye. Okay, so I changed this to employee, and I pulled down the person that I've been indicating over here and I go to my applies to document number applies to document down here you can see that we've got these two entries that we had listed previously for this employee so from here you can push your payment journal but again the point is is just that with this power app that we built once we've posted the invoice we can click in 
and just with a few clicks, point that information back into Business Central. And so you can take what maybe, you know, a 30 minute to a couple hour process into, you know, maybe less than five minutes. So there is uh, the Commission Calculator Power App. Thank you.